Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program Fuckers. And today I'm doing a paid re review for Tony. Hi Archie, my name is Tony. I'm 25 years old and living in New York City. I just started collecting luxury watches two years ago and had little knowledge about watches. I'm a fan of your channel since you always tell me bloody truth that stupid fuckers don't like to hear. I got my first watch from my family as a gift. It's a glass hoot original big date pano re reserve 18 karat rose gold. I don't really like the watch since it just copies Lange's design but I cannot sell it because I don't want to make my family angry about it. My second watch is a Rolex Hulk. Not very classic but I love it. Since I saw lots of my friends wearing AP. I think it's time to get one but I don't want to spend the money for a new one. I have a budget of about $14,000. Uh, I want to buy a pre-owned AP that will make me a decent... Uh, that will get me, I think 14,000 should get me a decent pre-owned AP, like a 15400 ST or a chronograph. Since my wrist is relatively small, I prefer the 39mm and it would cost me less to get one. Now I'm still, I'm really struggling whether to choose whether the 1500 uh, ST, I think he means 15400 ST or a chronograph because... They really look different when you wear it. Also, the white, blue dial or black dial. Please let me know your opinions you have regarding which model and which dial holds more value and which one I should really buy. I've been struggling for weeks to decide. I sent you $50! $50 to provide some professional opinions. In this case, I understand AP costs more money to own. One, because of the expensive service, but I really love to get one of these so I can sleep well. Thank you for your time and opinion. I'm looking forward to watching the video. Best regards, Tony. Tony, what a great email. And uh, let's just correct a few minor, minor difficulties that we have there on it. So firstly, okay, let's have a look there. Let's start, you've got a Glass Hoot Original Big Date Pano Reserve 18 karat rose gold, keep it. That's actually not a bad watch. I wouldn't have bought it myself, but you've got a family who's given you that. It's not bad. I know I like to criticize Glass Hoot, but I gotta tell you the honest truth. <coughs> They're actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool watch. You're a lucky fucker to get that. So don't be so hard. It may seem to be a Lange. Look, what is a Lange design anyhow? I, I kind of i like the glass hoot is a great 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 brand so no i i i actually like that you've also got a rolex hulk okay nothing wrong with a rolex the hulk is the submariner green it's a great watch um nothing wrong with that at all now, you want to get an AP. Ooh, slow down! Slow down! <coughs> slow down. APs can be trouble. They are fucking expensive to service. Fucking expensive to maintain. Fucking trouble. Fucking trouble! Let me tell you a thing or two about AP. Now, those two models you've mentioned there, I think you're a bit confused. There's the 15400, and then there's the 15300. This is the Royal Oak, the classic Royal Oak. The 15300 is 39 mil, and the 15400 is 41 mil. I think it's 41 or 41 and a half. Anyhow, look. The honest truth is, I believe the 15300s are slightly more collectible than the 15400s. So, in some places, they're about the same. On the used market, the 15300, I think, is a better watch to get. That's what I'd be buying. 
to tell you the truth, you, you've raised a good point there. Do you get the standard AP or do you get a chronograph? Now, be careful, careful, careful. Many years ago, when I was buying my AP, I could have got, I got a three hand with a date. I got a 14790 ST, 36 mil automatic. For very similar money, I could have got a dual time zone AP. This is the thing. AP complications can be absolute cunts. Absolute cunts. It's, I don't know if you read the newspaper much, but you, well, not even, you, it may be online. You go online and look at the value of secondhand European cars. And you see Mercedes Benzes like uh, S classes and 7 series BMWs. And they're relatively cheap. And one would say, wow, I can get a 7 series for the price of a 3 series. And you've got to say, why is that so? Why is that so? And just slow down, slow down, slow down. Why is it so? It's because they cost a fortune to run. The purchase price is only one part of the equation. And I, my view is, if you want to buy an AP, and I love AP, treat it with respect. They are cunts, absolute cunts, with a capital K to service and maintain. I'd only buy an AP, which is a fucking three-hander. Minute, hours, second. That's all I'd be buying. I wouldn't be getting any of these fucking complicated things because, man, the reason why complicated APs are relative bargains is because they are an absolute cunt to service and maintain and repair. So, uh, be careful. Be very careful. My advice to you <clears throat> would be to seriously, the glass suit, keep it. It's a nice watch. It's different, okay? The, the Hulk, keep that. That's a fucking beautiful watch. Nothing wrong with that at all. The, um, the AP... Get the 15300. Don't go for any complicated ones. They're absolute cunts to service. Now, as far as dial preference goes, white, blue, black, what's the best dial to go for? Look, <coughs> in all honesty, in all honesty, it doesn't really matter. That's, you know, blue, black, blue, blue, black, white, What's what's the difference? I mean, these are all really cool classic colours. Doesn't really matter, okay? Doesn't really matter. What's my personal preference? I like that bluey grey. But the white is cool. The black is cool. They're all cool. I don't think... <coughs> There's really much, there's a bee's dick of difference. Much better off, get a nice condition. Condition is more important than dial color. Dial color, whatever you get, you will talk yourself into saying, hey, this is the best. I mean, Americans can be such wankers when it comes to a dial color. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter, okay? It doesn't fucking matter. So, my advice to you, buy pre-owned. Dial color is secondary. We buy pre-owned. We don't order new. We don't order new. Therefore, we are beggars. Beggars can't be choosers. Condition and price is far more important than dial color. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty, mangy, vicious... Fuckers, think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great bid. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. 
We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.